and this is the time where you really need to take your time to do everything because well the line or like the top of your ear or the hairline that you have the end of your hairline here you're gonna take pictures right Hey Mama Strong, my name is Michou and I help moms find ways to enjoy self-care and be the best versions of themselves with affordable beauty. This video is actually a photo shoot makeup tutorial on holiday edition. So this is pretty much uh, like an inspiration for you if you want to do your makeup during the holiday and be sure to get yourself two hours ahead. Okay Mama Strong, we all know how it is. So yeah, get yourself two hours ahead to make yourself glammed for this look. Um, yeah and then I, this is like a step to step so I literally walk you through everything I do and just make sure that you know you're a little bit heavy handed on this makeup because you want the makeup to show on camera this is a photo shoot type of makeup okay so it's a little bit heavy and uh, this is not all drugstore this is all mixed with high-end and drugstore but uh, be sure to come back for the drugstore version if that's what you're looking for don't forget to subscribe if you like this type of videos and uh, yeah let's get started we're gonna start with primer I'm gonna use my Smashbox photo finish foundation primer Because that primer takes a little bit to dry, we're gonna move on to brows. Cold enough to make you shiver. Then I'm gonna use my uh, Wet n Wild Micro Brow Pencil in soft brown. So as always, you gotta have to shape it first, so that's why you need the spoolie to brush your hair. Um, it's always preferable to have a pencil that has a spoolie like this, so that you can have everything in one. And this is the time where you really need to take your time to do everything because, well, you're gonna take pictures, right? So you want it, everything to be a little bit more uh, precise, a little bit more detailed. So you wanna take your time. So what I'm doing as always is just shape the bottom of the brow first and then shape the top of the brow and leaving this top here empty because I'm going to brush the bottom here up. So now I'm gonna just grab my uh, spoolie and then comb whatever I left down here up and it will fill everything up. The reason for this is you always want the, uh, the back of your brows to be the darkest and the front to be the lightest. That would give you the more natural look and it will look good on camera. So just make sure that the bottom is a little bit straight. We will always um, go over with concealer after but just try your best to make it a little bit straight. Doing the same exact method on the other brow. As you can see, I have my pinky resting on my face. This will help me get more precision on my brows. This is also what you need to do for eyeliner definition. Then once, once that's done, it doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to look exactly the same, but make it a little bit similar at least. They're sisters, not twins, right? <laughs> okay, and then we're just going to use a um, brow gel to uh, set it so it doesn't move, move anywhere while you take your pictures. The brow gel I'm using is by AOA Studio. It's the Gold Brow. So I'm just using the brush to follow the shape that's already there. This gel doesn't have any color, so it's literally just to set the brow hairs, really. Scarves and sweaters bundled up in cotton Knowing names that wouldn't be forgotten Laughing over our own sense of humor 
okay now that the primary is uh set we're gonna move back to foundation so this foundation is very 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 fair on my face right now um but this is the AOA studio power wear full coverage foundation and the shade is in uh pure beige which is not my shade at all it's very very fair um but um this is the time to bust out the full coverage foundation unless you need full coverage <laughs> uh, especially if you have anything sc acne scarring or anything on your face you need full coverage for picture days right so i'm just gonna i'm actually taking my uh, mix and match adjuster by elf so i'm just putting that down and i'm gonna add the foundation on top as you can see it's not watery at all it's very very thick so good thing that the elf is a little bit on the watery side because i have dry skin Anyways, I'm just gonna use this elf sponge. It's super huge, you guys. So I'm just gonna mix it up first. With the Christmas lights that glow. Distribute the foundation all over my face, then blend. I don't know if you guys remember the first time I tried this was, was super fair on me as you can see when I match it with the elf um, with the elf mixer it's getting better Uh, we're gonna go ahead and move on to powder right away. Just gonna use this Ulta Beauty Mineral Setting Powder. This doesn't have a color, so I'm just gonna use this to set the foundation because it's very wet right now. So the reason why you wanna do a circular motion is because you wanna you want the powder to be applied on the skin like softly like naturally you don't want to lift any products that's under there as well so that's why that's why you're applying the powder on a circular motion Because this brush is not as fluffy as the other one it's a little bit harder to do the circular circular motion so if you have this type of brush it's a little bit denser you can actually press it also you can press the products this will also not lift up any products that's underneath it and also this will help with the coverage it will give you more coverage on your makeup so either circular motion or pressing technique will help you out. All right, let's move on to concealer. So I haven't been able to purchase any new makeup yet. So we're just going to use what we used to always have because we're all moms and that's mom life. I'm going to use the BH Cosmetics Concealer uh, Light Medium. This is pretty much a concealer wheel. So I'm going to go ahead and use the yellow part of the concealer. Yes, I hit pan already, or it's been a while, but I'm gonna use the yellow part as my on my T-zone and under my eyes. And I'm going to use the darker concealer as my uh, cream concealer, cream contour. I'm gonna use this um, Morphe concealer sponge to apply the concealer under my eyes because this one is a little too big and plus it's kind of dirty the top so I don't want to I don't want to mess up my makeup <laughs> so always look up when applying the concealer so that it doesn't crease meaning it doesn't form a line under your eye we've come so far since that 
some on the side of your nose to bring it, bring it a little bit lower to make the triangle I know this is not like the beauty trend techniques anymore but this works still it works very well with photos so so do this okay see the difference how bright my face is I'm just gonna bring whatever's left on the sponge on my nose probably need to add some more then I'm just gonna do the other side so this is another technique you can put both the heaviest on the corner and the outer corner and then you just bring it in always look up and if I didn't mention or if uh, it's not it wasn't um, obvious every sponge you use has to be wet that will help with the makeup application much 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 better so make sure any beauty sponge you use is wet not soaked but wet just gonna use the same sponge now for the rest of my t-zone also make sure that the sponge is wet not soaked because if it's soaked then it will lift up any makeup that you already applied so after you wet it just make sure to squeeze good so that any excess water comes off then I'm just to blend the area on my forehead I'm just bringing like the I guess the body of the sponge on the edges around that area to blend it you see so there's no harsh line okay now we're gonna move on to the uh, I guess the cream contour I'm going to use this elf flawless concealer brush just to have this like size for the contour it's perfect for my contour and remember it starts from the line or like the top of your ear or the hairline that you have the end of your hairline here it doesn't go under your um, your bone you see your bone it doesn't go under it it goes on it so that whenever you try to blend the concealer the cream contour it's not gonna go down because the point of doing the, the contouring is to lift your face up to give you that chisel <laughs> chisel cheeks cheek to give you that chisel cheek and you see the technique that I did there I pressed so I didn't drag the cream contour I just pressed it on this will give you like um, more blendable this is like a blending technique and uh, it's not gonna give you a harsh line as always so as you can see it's on the bone it's not under it so that whenever you blend because when you blend things it tends to go down so that's why you need to uh, put it on the bone instead okay and then for the forehead if you have big forehead like me you just need to do like a triangle here to like cover this whole area and do the tapping motion as always lights, lights. Like stars of course doing the same exact technique on the other side it's broken from the trees glad I found you I'm not alone it's you and me and if you happen to be too much too heavy-handed on this don't worry you can use the same sponge after to blend things out to make it a little bit softer you're pretty much just trying to mix up the cream contour and the cream the concealer that we applied earlier okay 
as you can see like it's more natural like I've been as out you can to... see like the the uh, cream contour looks more natural like I've been out in the Sun for a bit and that's what you need you don't need any harsh line or anything like that getting on the draw jar just bring it down I'm good I got to know you as you can see I'm dragging it down and that's okay for the neck area to drag the uh, cream contour and then just to blend it I'm just doing a little bit of circular motion so it's not like a harsh line again now to set everything we're just gonna use this contour palette this is by BH Cosmetics you guys have seen this a ton if you're not new in my channel uh, so I'll use the yellow to set my t-zone and then I'll mix these two up for the cream contour I'm going to use this Morphe brush for under my eyes hopefully it's not too harsh you see how the brush is a little bit pointed that's what I need so make sure you have no creasing under your eyes before you set it because it's not gonna budge after I like this brush how I'm able to go under my eyes and be, be very precise with it Okay, I'm gonna use this BH Cosmetics Dome Brush um, for the contour because I can't find my regular brush. Hopefully this is okay. You see, when I'm pressing against my skin, I'm pressing against the bone here. See, when I'm blending, it's going a little bit lower. So good thing that we put the cream higher so that when it's blended, it's just exactly where it's supposed to be. So that's why all these techniques are very important. So bringing it from up here and it goes all the way down and then the rest you just swipe it down. Uh, I'm swiping whatever is uh, on the brush first on my actual nose bridge then after I bring it up to my eye socket up here then bringing it all the way down and then to the tip of my nose whatever is left I'll just wipe it it's pretty much like wiping it off on my nose that's pretty much it for blush I'm going to use my elf Modera metals I'm actually going to use the more darker color so that it will show on camera and I'm actually applying mine on the edge of my face going up not so much on the apple of my face this will give that um, lifted look. I have to blend that after because it's <laughs> this um, this blush is very very strong. Elf blushes are very very pigmented always. 
this this is a EOW studio brush but it's like a stippling brush I'm just gonna use it to wipe off any excess blush because this is a lot <laughs> okay I really love this look you guys what do you guys think so far okay so next we're gonna move on to the eyes because uh, I'll just come back to the highlighter after okay so I'm gonna use this concealer right here actually instead of the yellow to uh, for my like um, eye primer I like to use concealer for my primer instead of uh, instead of the actual primer because sometimes primers are just, just I don't know it's too hard to work with it doesn't dry out well etc so I'm just using the same concealer brush uh, concealer sponge from Morphe that I used earlier for under my for on my eyes and then we're gonna use the same concealer to um, clean up our brows okay now I'm gonna use like just a flat brush to clean up under my brows see the difference between the two this one stands out a lot more because of that concealer cleanup I'm not adding any products I'm just uh, putting whatever's left on the brush above here to make it stand up a little more Okay, moving on to the palette, I'm going to use this Morphe palette. This is the 35H. We're gonna start up with Siesta. Siesta? Yeah, I'm gonna start up with Siesta. This is gonna be the under brow highlights. As you all know, I like matte under brow highlights, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, I need to set this concealer it's giving me all this crease right here so I need to put a powder on top of this before we go on any farther I'm gonna use this color right here and I'll tell you the name. It is Caffeine Buzz. <laughs> so I'm gonna use Caffeine Buzz as the uh, transition color. I'm just gonna use a fluffy blending brush. And this is not a crease color, it's a transition color. So it's a little bit above the crease. Just take your time to blend because once again this is for a picture so you wanna you wanna make sure everything looks good. Don't press too hard. You see my hand is all the way in the middle. So that's how I am able to blend it very nice and not apply too much and not apply too much uh, products. I'm gonna use this color right here for the crease color. So I'm gonna use a little bit of a pointed brush this time. This is from Makeup Revolution, but any pointed blending brush is fine. This is to give you that precision. So you need it a little bit pointed. So if you wanna see where your, your crease is, it's pretty much where your eye socket is. That area, that's your crease that's your crease 
so that's where you want to put this color that's why you need a pointed brush so that it's able to go right into that crease and why you always tap off the excess is so that any excess um, shadow that's on the brush is not gonna fall on your face but it's gonna come off around wherever you tap it <laughs> okay so the next color we're gonna use is this color right here right under the one we used earlier and the name is off the bread off the grid so it's a little bit darker I'm gonna use a flat brush I'm just gonna use this um, angled brush from BH cosmetics it's a very old brush but it's really good it's still very good as always top of the excess and then we're gonna make it go um, how do you call this like it's not gonna be straight it's gonna be angled there you go angled <laughs> Then you're just gonna bring it down like so, still angled. So we're trying to like elongate the eyes with this look. So that's why it's angled. I'm just gonna use the same, I'm gonna do the same technique. So I'm pretty much making a V on the outer corner right here. I'm bringing it all the way up to the crease and then I'm filling up the outer corner that's not, that's not, doesn't have any color yet. See? Okay, and then before we continue this eye look, we're gonna bring some of this color down because the lower lash is very lonely. So I'm just gonna use like a dense pencil brush and bring in the same color down. Putting it all over my lashes, my lower lashes, as you can see right now. I'm making sure that these two meet each other, then I'm putting it on the lashes. And then for the inner corner color, I'm going to use a little bit of a darker gold, this color right here. And I'll tell you the name. It's called Outfit Change. And I'm going to use, actually, I'm going to use a flat brush for this because I want to, I want it to be precise. Okay, so that, that color is very buildable. It doesn't show up right away, but... As you can see, it's it's buildable. <laughs> uh, this type of color is perfect to put above like any um, matte shadow too, to give it some definition. It's very good. What do your mamas think? Is it good? I like it. And this kind of glitter will look so good on camera. <laughs> okay and then we're gonna darken this bottom up a little bit in a bit but we're gonna use a angle brush now because we're gonna use this the same palette for the eyeliner so I'm gonna use this for the eyeliner hopefully it comes out great this is with my fix plus a little bit This brush is not the thinnest, so. Under a thousand Christmas lights, lights, lights. Like stars around you that sparkle from the trees. like the flat brush that it gives gives you that very good precision it's you and me. a 
feel like if you're a beginner this will help you a lot I'm just bringing the same eyeshadow down into my waterline I'm not using any eyeliner at all today it's just just this palette I'm just gonna try and put this little bit of highlight here it's the uh, soft soft beach Oh, it's pretty much the same color as almost the same color as uh, caffeine buzz so not much of a difference here it's just like to brighten it up a little bit okay now <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put on my lashes these are really ooh, yeah these are the uh, Ewe Studio 3D Foaming Lashes in Carlen Carlene. These lashes are crazy. Look at them. Oh my goodness. Okay, so <laughs> I feel like I'm going to fly away. Um, I'm just going to try to put a little bit more um, color underneath my eyes to make it a little bit more popping. So I'm just going to use a little bit of a bigger pencil brush. And then put in that same dark shadow from earlier. And creating that line right here. So far since that would have known I would. Then I'm just gonna put like a little bit of a uh, brighter shadow in the inner corner. So like my transition color. Just so that that side is not too bare. There you go. Just a little bit. Move on to mascara. I'm gonna use this uh, CoverGirl Lash Blast Clean Mascara. It's been a while since I've used it. Stick to this falsies because uh, there's a little gap here to make my eyes a little bit lifted. I uh, put the lashes on the eyeliner or the shadow liner, I guess. Highlights. I really, really love this highlight, you guys. This is the US Studio Velour highlight in for you, for you, I guess. Um, I really, really love this highlight. I'm just gonna apply it with the sponge. The sponge is still a little damp. I tried this live and then ooh, I really fell in love. I hope it's still the same. Yep. You guys see that? It's like the perfect highlight. Like you don't need a lot. Like look at that, you guys. It's like it's just like you are glowing from within. it off with this uh, Makeup Revolution Geo Baked Highlighter. I'm just gonna use the gold side just a little bit, tiny little bit. Cold enough to make you shiver but not cold enough to snow. Cold enough to know it's winter. I'm gonna use this um, ColourPop lipstick. This is the Tiana. It's pretty dark. Perfect time to say a first hello. Mm. Alright, this is the final look, Mama Strong. What do you think? Do you like it? Would you recreate it? Would you wear it for your uh, holiday picture this year? Let me know. Tag me in your social media if you do so. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. All the products will be listed below. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you in another video. Bye.